Alright guys, uh, I'm just going to make a quick tutorial for you guys on how to export things into Cinema 4D from Photoshop and make them 3D. So just for the start of this I'm going to use Illustrator and you'll see why in just a second. Yeah, if you don't already have Adobe Illustrator, I advise again, it's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my vector pack folder whatever and I'm going to open up a random file and this one. And we're going to make or, uh, make the tractor 3D, why not? So what you want to do is just go ahead, if you have Illustrator, open up the file and you drag a little pad or, or, yeah, with your lasso to around one of the things you want. And go ahead and click new and you make a new document and all you do is drag and drop it in. And we're going to make it 400 by 400, that should do. And you just drag and drop your pad into your other document. Now because it's vector, you'll be able to resize it fully as much as you want, which is obviously a big benefit of having uh, Adobe Illustrator. So as you can see when you stretch it out more, it doesn't blur. And that's what vector is if you don't understand what that is. So I'm just going to make it to about there, I should do. And I'm going to go ahead and save that as I'm going to save it as an Illustrator file, but it's all the same if you use it as, or if you save it as a PNG, as long as it has no background. But I'm just going to go ahead and save it as an Illustrator file, and you can come over to your Photoshop and you can click Open. Now, if you want, you can use. I'm going to do this for both. I'm going to open up a random logo render or something. We use that's perfect. We use the Black Ops logo. As you can see, it's going to look a bit weird when you do it in Illustrator or when you see yourself. And we're going to open up our Illustrator, which is here. And go OK. So, as you can see, it has no background. And what you want to do is, we'll do on the logo first. You come over here to the Layers palette, and you select the layer. It has to have no background. And you want to click Control. CTRL and then left click and as you can see it makes a little path around your text around your render so what you want to do then is go over to paths now your paths will probably won't be here I'm not sure but if it isn't all you have to do is go to windows and you come down here to paths and that's all you have to do so once in paths you come up here to the top right and you click the little box and go down to make work path tolerance set to one pixel and this comes up in the paths and what you want to do then is go ahead and click file export and paths to illustrator and we're going to save this as two and because I've already done this tutorial I'm going to save it as tutorial number two and come over here then to the layers on the second one this is the one I made in illustrator as you can see this is going to actually look a bit weird too but do the same thing control left click make the path it makes a little, I don't know what you call them, whatever. And you come over to paths again, click in the corner, make work path, tolerance one, and file export paths to Illustrator. And save it. And we're going to close down these documents because we no longer need them. And now what you want to do is come over to your Cinema 4D and you click file open and find your files and here they are tutorial number two so go ahead and click open and leave these settings as they are go ahead and click ok as you can see it does look pretty weird but just for this tutorial it should do so you should only have one file over here normally sometimes you don't I don't know but uh, what you want to do is click the plus arrow and as you can see it gives a little drop down box of 20 paths. So drag a box over all these paths and drag it up above the original group it was in and then you can go ahead and delete that or you can leave it there, it doesn't matter. So what you want to do now is come over here to this green cube, hold it down and click extrude nerves. So what you want to do is click Control C and Control V and you want to duplicate for as many paths as there are. So See, there's a lot of paths here for this. Well, 
to do it really quick. As you can see, when you drop it down, you can see it makes a 3D. And you just do it for all of them. And as you can see, it makes it 3D, makes it look cool. And once it's done, you can add your materials onto it. You can do whatever you want, and you can make it your own 3D logo. You can do it with logos like your YouTube logo or your website logo, whatever you want, really. And I'm nearly finished. Pats here, and I'll drop it in there. As you see, I have too many extrude nerves and count it properly, but whatever. You get the point anyway. And as you see, it makes the logo 3D, and it gives it a really nice effect. And I'm just going to close up these. So what you can do now is you can add your fill a cap or whatever you want. So you can make it deep, more depth on it. So it doesn't matter. And uh, I'm just going to leave it as it is with the depth. And I'm going to make a quick material. Make it red, reflection, 50, gradient. And go ahead and drop it in on all. I'm not going to drop it in on all of them, of course, just to make a quick tutorial. But I'll drop it in on a few of them so you can see what it looks like. And if you render it, you can see that it's red and it's 3D. It looks pretty cool. And I'm just going to use the other Adobe Illustrator one that we got out of Illustrator itself, which is this one here. And same thing, just click OK, and as you can see, you have your tractor. Why anyone wanted to do a 3D tractor, I'm not really sure. As you see, this one only has two parts, so this one will like, take two extrude nerves. So Control C, Control V, and as you can see, there you go. Two, and drag and drop, and you can delete the bottom there, and there you go. You can then increase the depth as much as you want. So let's make it 180 and change the other one, 180. And now if you just go to the side, you see it's a 3D. As you see, this could work really nicely if you have your own logo made or if you have something else that you maybe want to make 3D. So if this will help you anyway, guys, make sure you click like on this video. Uh, leave a comment if you have any suggestions for new tutorials. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more, guys. Thanks for watching.